Are you actually serious? Absolutely not. I mean, it's flour. My grandmother with dementia can make cookies with that. Th this is your fault. You said you smoked the crack and it was real. How could no, you... No, I... I, I, I swear... No, this I, doesn't make any sense. How could you actually think that that I was real? I swear when I left my house that was, I had the crack with me. We're screwed. I... I how could you do that? that? There's no way that's flour. I have my... When I was in my house, I had my crack and I had my flour. It's on. Nothing good. If there's ever been a question that rap music is the most prevalent genre of music in mainstream nowadays, this recent breakout artist has answered it. Avery Radisson, known to her fans as Young Hood Rat, is the newest Spotify sensation. But recently, she's come under fire for her controversial lyrics and ambiguous connection to hip-hop as a genre. Tonight, on Jacob Tonight, we'll be going into the weed and the weeds with Young Hood Rat. Who the fuck is Young Hood Rat? I don't know. Here is Avery Radisson, also known as Young Hood Rat. Hey Jacob, thanks a lot for having me on your show. Well, we're always thrilled to have new and exciting faces. So, how does it feel to be an overnight sensation? Gosh, I mean, it's absolutely fantastic. I never would have thought that me just expressing myself on TikTok would ever have gotten me this far, and I'm just so thankful and grateful to all of my supporters. I could never do this without them. It's interesting you bring up your supporters. Can you tell us more about the kind of support system you have and need? Absolutely. I mean, my support system is always going to be the reason I'm able to do what I do. I'm so thankful to my parents and my team and my friends. Each one of them is so special to me. I can't do anything I do without them. Do you have any specific messages for those special people? Just to thank you, each and every one of you. I know things have been hard sometimes, and we haven't always had the best of times, but at the end of the day, I love all of you. Bullshit. So, we actually want to ask you about that. What kinds of things happen to you with those people? Well, I don't really want to go fully into it here, but there were some issues with my dad. You mean that he wasn't your actual dad? How did you- We do our homework here. So, as we were saying, uh, your father, as he's appeared in all of your promotional materials, is not your actual father. This has caused some rifts? Yeah, um, I guess this is as good a show as any to reveal that bit on. But yes, my dad isn't actually my biological father, and as a result, we have had some rough patches. Have you ever said anything to your dad that has come up? What do you mean? Well, have you said anything to your father that may have made him reconsider your relationship? No, um, no, I don't think so. Miss Radisson, this is an interview. Of course, I can't make you say anything, but the people at home that are watching want to know the truth. Well, it was nothing really, but during an argument over something stupid, I honestly can't even remember anymore. But yeah, I, um, I blew up at him and I said something along the lines of, you're not my dad and this is why mom doesn't love you anymore and it feels so long ago and stupid now. And at this point, did you know that your mom was cheating on your stepfather? Uh, what? Like I said, we did our homework. Jacob tonight has some of the best researchers on television. So, if you could, please answer the question. Um, I don't know, I can't remember. I think I might have known at the time and I was angry at my mom for that as well, but I don't remember if I knew. Has your experiences with your family spilled into any other aspects of your life? Well, maybe I shouldn't talk about this. Is that because your mom was cheating on your stepfather with your best friend's dad? Or because you haven't told her yet? It's because I haven't told her yet! And now you just said it on live television! How do you feel about not telling her this? Isn't it obvious? I feel like a bad friend. And this isn't even the first time I haven't told her something I should have. 
I borrowed her really special and important bracelet, and I never gave it back to her, and I told her that it was mine. And then when I had enough money to afford a new one, I bought myself a new one. And then I gave hers back in the new box and told her it was new. We're really unpacking a lot tonight. Yeah. Are you feeling any better about yourself now? A little bit. It was nice to get it out. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> so, having unpacked all that, I think we should get to one more question before the break. Okay. Your music has garnered plenty of positive attention and fans, but it has also garnered a bit of hatred for what seems to be cultural appropriation as a privileged white girl is rapping about things she maybe shouldn't have. So, having unpacked what we have tonight about your father, your mother, your friends, why do you think you make the music you make? Is it because this is all you know? Or is it because you think you're a bad person and you believe this is what bad people do? In the button. I, I just, I got it. No one's gonna push them. I'm gonna get pushed. Okay. Honey, feeling quite perturbed lately. There's something funky about her relationship dynamic. Just not groovy. Yeah, I think we need something to spice up this little ordeal we've got here. You need woo! Bye! Woo! Never have I ever been so adamant about you purchasing woo! Oh. Listen to these wow. uh, people and what woo did for them! I just feel like a sack of meat in front of my female correspondence. Dweeby. Like a little bitch boy weirdo. It's till I met. Whoa. Uh. of how he was getting. He couldn't even get up in bed anymore. What's happening? What the what? Looks like they have a newfound love and yearning because of one. Hey man, you don't need to point that gun in my face. You don't need to threaten me. Whoa! It's certainly not. <laughs> what the fuck is that? What 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 is that?
Video game addiction is no joke. Limit your screen time to one hour a day. Don't hate the player, hate the game. Do you feel like people won't keep your wife's name out their fucking mouth? Do you feel manic and cuckoo crazy whenever you wake up? Do you feel the need to be creative? but you're too stupid to even color between the lines of a coloring book? I just need something to calm me down. I need something to take the edge off, man. Look at how crazy you look. Do you realize that you have mental demons that need to be slain? I just want to live in my basement. I am Will Smith, and I don't think you know how to actually skateboard. Go out and find some grass. That's right, marijuana. Marijuana is a wonder drug that will cure all of your problems. Feel a little foggy in the cranium? Smoke some of that good, good stranium. Whoa. Side effects of marijuana may include brain rot, fatigue, lack of integrity, lack of respect for authority, limp penis, male menstruation, poop inside of your lungs. You will start to smell funky, dead end job, You'll think you know about politics, you'll become racist, you'll become sexist, you'll become strange like a little mole man that lives in the sewers. You will die in an automobile accident. Sorry, this is all true. I'm Will Smith, so of course it's true. Feeling a little strange? Feeling a little strange?
just a simple question, isn't it? Well, you're just sitting there, so thought I'd ask. Boredom's a funny thing. You know, it's awfully easy to get rid of, too. I mean, just think about it. There are endless possibilities of what you could do, where you could go, who you could meet, but you're sitting here, bored. You know no one makes it out of this place alive, right? Might as well make it count while you're here. Each second that goes by, the less and less time you have to do something meaningful with your life. Something significant. I mean, before you know it, well... I'll just say time doesn't wait for anybody. You know, they're not coming. The birds, I mean. Sometimes, you gotta stop wasting your own time and go shoot them down yourself. You sit here any longer, you could end up regretting it for the rest of your life. Get up. Get, Get up. up. Get up. Why? I know there are plenty other things I could be doing right now that are far more important. I know that. But just knowing that doesn't help. If anything, I'm, I'm overwhelmed. So sometimes it's nice to just do nothing but sit and throw bread at the ground. What could be so wrong with that? You answer me now. What could be so wrong with being bored?